entries, but only 28 semi-finalists for Melody Festival in 2018, and we should talk about them. Are you ready? No Alcazar, honey. It happens. Let's do this! The first semi-final takes place in Karlstad. On the 3rd of February! And the first act competing is... Renata with all the feels. She was a contestant on last year's series of Swedish Idol, placing sick. But you gotta watch her cover of Beyonce, Girls Rule the World. Watch the cover of Rihanna's We Found Love. She gets R&B, she slays. Next, we have Benjamin Ingrosso with Dance You Off. Well, we met him in Malmo last year and he was so great. He's almost like a Swedish version of Justin Timberlake. You remember that Good Loving, that song? It placed fifth and he is gonna be hungry to go even higher. Next, we have Edward Blom, a television personality. He's released some viral hits um, that are a bit silly. There's a song where he talks about what he's eating, including chorizo and panna cotta. And with a song called Life on a Stick, Right now? Uh, I'm not sure I'm feeling it. Life on a Stick, Song on the Stage. Next, we turn to John Lundvik with My Turn. He, of course, wrote a song for the Swedish Royal Wedding. Oh, he's got the voice of an angel, this beautiful, handsome man. And he also co-wrote Anton Ewald's Natural. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember Natural. <laughs> Next, we turn to Miss Kiki Danielson singing Osby, Tennessee. Hey, y'all, the Schlager Queen is going down south. She's one of our favorites, William. She's had nine Melody Festival appearances so far. The girl plays third at Eurovision. Third. <laughs> She's had two Eurovision appearances even. Yeah, no, it's good. First with Chips and Solo. This could be really interesting. Her sound's a bit old school, but hey, there's room for old school in the new. Next, we turn to Sigrid Bernson singing Patrick Swayze, perhaps serving some dirty dancing realness. Oh my god. Now she's a professional dancer on SVT's Let's Dance. You know that? Um, very, very beautiful. I'm not so sure she can sing though. Well, you know what's funny is she actually danced with Benjamin Ingrosso on the Let's Dance, I believe. She can dance, but can she sing? Hey, we're gonna see soon enough. And finally in the semi-final, it is the Norwegian sensation DJ Camphor Drops singing The Sun Is Still Alive With You. Again, she reincarnates Kiki Danielson. She covered one of her songs, which became a big hit. She's got a real great sense of style with her wigs and her lipstick and her sunglasses. She's a bit cuckoo. You know what? She's Team Wee Wee, because you know what color that wig is? Hey! We turn to semi-final two in Gothenburg. On the 10th of February. Kicking it off is this synth pop diva, Ina Reddig, with everything that we said. Which is a song translated from Swedish. Can you try the Swedish word for it? Allting <laughs> som Well, she's very dreamy, electronic, and she reminds me of Like Lee. Oh yes, very nice. Next, we turn to Jonas Gardell with There Is A Road. He's a comedian and a novelist, and like apparently he wrote a comedy about Melody Festivalen. Um, I'm not convinced he's a singer, per se, but he's very, very popular. I guess we always need a joke act at Melody Festivalen. Well, it's interesting, Christian Borkman said this year, in every semi-final, there are at least two acts that are out there, whether stylistically or for some other reason, and I think this has to be one of them. Uh-oh, turn up the heat and grab the water. Even though the water can't cool her down, it's Margaret. What's in your cabana tonight, William? I don't know, but in her cabana, there are songwriters Anders Rethob, Linnea Dab, Arash LaBeouf, Robert Ullman. It's a full cabana, and it's getting real, real hot. Next, we have Liamu with Last Breath. He, of course, won Swedish Idol in 2016. Oh my god, this guy is so good looking, it actually hurts to look at him. He's just a sight for sore eyes. So beautiful. And you know what? He covered Margaret's song, Cool Me Down, on Swedish Idol, and it was a real, real good. Didn't he rap at some point? He can do it all. <laughs> Next, we turn to Samir and Victor with Shufla. That is the dance. Is it third time lucky? Ah, oh, you know what? They just come up with the hits. Groupie in 2015 was fantastic. Badanapna, my favorite in 2016. And of course that single that came afterwards, Thick Feeling, 
These boys just tick all my boxes. Yes! Next, we revisit Miss Mimi Werner. She, of course, sang Ain't No Good a few years back. I thought she was going to go through. She's gorgeous. She's got a great country dance sound. And she's singing Song Burning, a clever play, perhaps, on Song Burning. You go. A house divided on this one. I mean, I love some of her country styles, particularly on Forever Again, the single, the hit single she had with Josh Jenkins. But I don't know. It's not for me every day. All right, every day, every day, every day. We move on to Stiko Pear Larson with Look We're Flying. And now earlier in the year, this acoustic singer won the P4 Nesta competition. So he's already had a bit of support behind him. There's momentum here. He's an unknown figure. But he was the first confirmed act for Melody Festival and back in August. So, you know, it's had quite a lot of PR. Um, yeah. It hasn't helped the previous winners of P4 Nesta. <laughs> We're going to the third semifinal in Malmö. When is it? It's on the 17th of February, around Valentine's. Ooh, yes. Romance is in the air, and so is Martin Almgren with a bitter lullaby. Let's say that baby ain't going to sleep. Again, another Swedish Idol winner. And now Martin won in 2015, didn't he? Yes, um, rich, soulful voice. Oh, do you remember Unbreakable? Oh, how could I forget? It's so uplifting. Next, we turn to Dotar with the song Cry. Now, if I recall, she was the only artist who wasn't at the artist reveal, and I heard she was on holiday in Thailand. That's what I'm saying. I like this girl. She's like pleasure first, business second. And if I recall, isn't she called Joanna Dotar, or do you just call her Dotar? Makes me think of Iceland 2009. <laughs> yes. She actually has appeared at Melfest in song form, in the sense that she wrote or co-wrote A Million Years. years for Mariette last year, yeah, so and that did well. Yeah, fourth place. Fourth place. Next, we turn to Mancho with Cuba Libra Free Cuba Honey. <laughs> now, is that the cocktail or is that the country? <laughs> well, he's a rapper from Uppsala, so he's not from Cuba. And he used to be with this reggae group called Lost Folk. Now, their sound is out there. Yeah, to say the least, but he is one of the leading R&B lights from Uppsala, so I expect big things. <laughs> we turn to Mendez. He, of course, came second way back with the song Adrena Lena. Oh, yeah. That DJ spinning those sounds from Santiago to Stockholm. Yes. Love him. Born in Chile and bring him the spice. <laughs> He'll be singing the song every day. Next, we turn to Kale Morris and Orsa Spellman with Mini Drum, My Dream. Now, has, haven't they been to Melody Festival before? I seem to recall in 2010, there was a song called Underbite. Yes, which sounds like Underbite. And he, of course, Kale, returned in 2018, returns in 2018 after being rumored for 2017. Now Thomas Jason is behind them. Very promising. Anything with Jason is a stamp of quality. <laughs> Next, we turn to Jessica Anderson. Oh, Angie, we're literally in her shrine. That is right, because if you could see to my right, we have a large poster of the queen herself looking like a fierce showgirl in that gold you can't hurt me now dress. Fierce! Watching down on us. Now, Jessica, of course, is a six-time Melfest veteran. In 2003, she actually went to Eurovision as part of the group Fame, and they placed fifth with Give Me Your Love. But this time, she's all guns blazing with Frederick Champagne. Oh, he is amazing. <laughs> the idol judge, he wrote Man Boy, he wrote Popular, he wrote Undo, he uh, writes winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And completing this semi-final is Miss Barbie Escobar with the song Stark. Another Melody Festival and debut for her. Um, she's an R&B singer. She's got more of a cult following, really. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Um, but her name's Barbie, so we expect beauty and maybe a Ken doll. <laughs> now, finally, we head to the fourth semifinal in Ornskoldsvik. Have another go. Ornskoldsvik. 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 I forgive you. It's on the 24th of February. Mark your diaries, guys. And if you do, you'll say, not bye Felicia, but hello Felicia Olsen, with the song Break That Chain. Now, 
She competed in Melody Festival in 2013 with a song titled Make Me Number One, but guess what? It got eliminated! <laughs> she is out for blood. There is some vengeance. Next, going solo, <laughs> dropping F O N O. It is the F from F O N O, Felix Sandman, with every single day. Now he's got a massive fan following because people want to hear new music from him. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. That boy band did have a massive following, but they still placed 11th, I think, in the final. So having a following is not enough. However, he's got the look, he's got the voice, and he's got a great team behind him. So who knows? Uh-oh, Devin, guess who it is? It's the bookie's odds-on favorite. It's Miss Mariette. Oh, now she is lovely. And she is, again, another popular act who I'm sure will inch into the final. She's singing a song this time called For You. But we love Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. We love A Million Years. And we love Jorgen Ellison, who's written all of her songs. He, of course, wrote Kelly Clarkson's winning single on American Idol. Done. Done. Can you believe it? He also worked with her on another one. I think if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. It was that one. It doesn't kill you, makes I you stronger. I think it was that one. I could be wrong. But point of story is, he gave her her longest U.S. number one. And arguably her first hit, if he wrote the winning yeah. song. Yeah, the moment home. like this. That, that was good. I watched that. Justin Worry, I didn't like him. You've just done the Eurovision version. Should oh my agree? god! <laughs> Well, anyway. You're on your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up is the parody dance band Rollins with the song Ugly Dance. Now look, having watched their YouTube videos, I think you're going to have to speak Swedish to understand this ad. It was one of the ones I skipped. Yeah, they wore kind of like superhero costumes to the artist reveal. So there's character, there's color. I just don't know if there will be musicality. What was Christopher Yorkman thinking? Diversity. He wants to make the show more entertaining. He says radio hit after radio hit is boring. Hey, it's a good strategy. Mix it up. We turn to Emmy Christensen with the song Icarus. Now she's a big deal on, on the Swedish stage. She's like the West End Broadway showgirl. Honey, that means she's big in the UK. She was in Phantom of the Opera serving some music of the night realness. OMG, was she in Sarah Brightman's role? Was she um, Christine? I don't know, you're in the weeds. All I know is she's a star. All I know is Thomas Jason is also behind her. Looking good. We turn to Elias Abbas with Mitt Paradise, my paradise. I've gotta say he's only 15, but he'll be 16 by the time the competition rolls around. I think his birthday's in de December. And I gotta say his single, Mean Queen, my queen, which is good language for us, is amazing. Very on trend, very now, very current. I think this could be fantastic. I think this could tip the scales of that sympathy for, oh, you know, the sweet little child competing. Let's just vote. Uh, he doesn't need sympathy. He's got Anders Rethrov as one of his songwriters. Anders Slays. I'm sorry. Google him. You will be amazed. Okay, will do. And finally, the 28th act is Olivia with Never Learn. She, of course, came to fame with her YouTube cover of Anton Ewald's Begging. And interestingly, Anton Ewald has written her song for the competition for next year. She, of course, is with Anton's record label. Are they romantically involved as well? That could be the rumor. Hey. <laughs> All right, those are the 28 acts competing at Melody Festival in 2018. Who excites you the most? Who do you think is going to advance from each final? I know we haven't heard the songs. I know we got to wait, but still, it's always fun to guess. Let us know here on Movie Vlogs. Of the newcomers, who do you like the most? I think Liamu, Liamu oh, yeah. is going to be good because his cover of Call Me Down is like, but why do you like him? No, if you're trying to suggest there's some kind of like romantic interest, there's not. However, I think he's a brilliant musician. He's definitely got the look that many people. He wants Swedish into. Idol. He could I be mean, a model. Yeah, he could be a easily. Model. He's a triple threat. Yeah, he, and who's your favorite newcomer? I like Renata. Oh God! <laughs> look at that. She's good. She whispered Renee <laughs> in my ear. Now she's good. She's good. She can dance. I really like her sense of style. She wears these really dark lips yeah. and dark eyes, and then she puts these dots, silver dots. Mm. You know, it's very Amazonian. It's very yes. wild. Vocally, though, I couldn't. I couldn't enjoy her as a radio entry. I, I need the visuals. 
Yeah. I need to see her too. I need to connect. <laughs> and you can connect with her and many of the other artists on our YouTube channel, Mimi.tv. We have interviews that have gone up already. Let us know what you're thinking. And our flights are booked, so we're going to be in all those semi-finals. Yes. Not just us, the whole team. And Andre Shonson and the final. Okay! Oh, hey! Follow us on... <laughs> Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Snapchat, Tumblr, YouTube, la la la. <laughs> there must be another one. Twitter, X Tube. No, just kidding. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.